Hi friends, what's up? Welcome back to my channel. As you can see from the title, I'm gonna take you thrifting with me and we're gonna shop at my favorite thrift store of all time, the Goodwill outlet. Last year, I was going there like one to three times a week. And now that I've kind of like stopped selling vintage, my shop is no longer active. I haven't been in at least two or three months. I got this shirt actually from the outlet years ago now, and it was probably like less than a dollar. So I'm gonna head over to the Goodwill outlet. But before I do, make sure you're subscribed if you're not subscribed already. I post new videos every Thursday. Also give this video a like and leave me a nice comment. And before we go shopping, here's a quick shout out from today's sponsor, Parade. I'm so excited to be partnering with Parade once again. Today, I wanna specifically talk to you about their Lush Rib collection. If you follow me on Instagram, you might know I am obsessed with the Parade bike shorts and I will never wear another bike short after this. This super cute set is from their Lush Rib collection. The bra is their Lush Sculpt Plunge Long Line Bralette. The shorts are the Lush sculpt high-rise bike short and these are in the color skydive so i was never a bike short person i just always found spandexy bike shorts and leggings to be so uncomfortable the waistband would always ride down but then i discovered the parade lush rip bike shorts and i have been obsessed ever since these are the only shorts i wear to the gym i use these to work out on the treadmill i use these when i go for a walk i wore them in disneyland if i'm wearing like a dress and i feel like my legs are going to be rubbing together and chafing i'll throw these on the secret sauce to this set really is their lush rib fabric. It's got plenty of stretch. It's also made of cotton, so it's just super comfortable, breathable, and lightweight. And just for reference, I wear a size 2XL in the bike shorts and then 3 plus in their plunge bralette. I also have the matching lush rib scoop neck tank if you want a little more coverage. Next, we've got the same set in the color sand castle. Just throw this on with some sneakers and I honestly feel like this is a look. Again, the perfect thing to wear on a walk or to run errands. This one is definitely giving me clean girl aesthetic vibes. One last set in the shade pony. These are the Lush Rib Warm Base Leggings. I wear a size 2XL in the leggings as well. Here it is with the matching scoop neck Lush Rib tank. A lot of us, our resolution is to work out more or move more or exercise more, not necessarily for weight loss, just to kind of bring more joy. And a number one priority for me when working out is comfort. The Lush Rib material is so stretchy, so comfortable, so soft. They're also sustainably made and super affordable. So Parade's website will be linked in the description box. Click the link browse their website and when you're ready to check out you can use my code color 35 to get 35 percent off your entire order no minimum purchase necessary so don't just take my word for it try it out for yourself huge thank you to parade for partnering with me on today's video now it's time to head to the thrift store so i will see you there Okay, I just pulled up to Goodwill. Things are looking good. I'm really excited. I just am manifesting. Hopefully I can find some really fun, colorful pieces, vintage or modern that are actually in my size and actually wearable. So let's head inside and see what we can find. Not my size, but I just found this stunning like peplum blazer top. It's 100% silk. It's so pretty and colorful. I probably won't get it because it's not my size, but I'm going to throw it in the cart and think about it because I feel like this is just such a pretty piece. It can't go to waste. It's also in really good condition and I could totally picture like this, which is some black pants or even colorful pants obviously would be super cute. So we'll throw it in and think about it because I just think that tulip silk bright pattern is so pretty. Sadly, I don't think this would fit me. It's like a really nice sheer polka dot tulle dress, kind of giving Wednesday Adam vibes. This would be such a fun layering piece. I think it'd just be too small on the chest. Unfortunately, I can't try it on, so I don't know for sure, but just from eyeballing it, I don't think it would work. I'm gonna have to look at it and really think about it. Maybe if there's a size on it, that would help, but this would be such a good layering piece because it's sheer and it's got the nice big balloon sleeves and a fun print definitely a good option just found this american eagle like neon yellow highlighter sweater it is really cute it's kind of got that inside out seam look which i think is fun i really love it and i think it would be a good addition to my wardrobe but it's a large it would definitely fit but i like my sweaters to have more of like an oversized fit so i'm gonna leave this here but definitely a good fun colorful option okay things are not going great so far i've probably looked through three to five bins and i haven't really found anything that i even really like that much let alone anything in my size but i'm not giving up yet i feel like i can come out with at least two things that i like for me cute 90s butterfly sweatshirt i wish the butterflies were colorful instead of black 
I mean, the jewels are cute and the idea is there, but definitely could have been better with a colorful butterfly in my opinion. Okay, I have a couple things to show you. I'm so sorry for how loud the music is, but I found a couple good things. None of them I think I'm gonna get for me, just like for family. So I have three sisters and a mom. Um, so lots of women in my family and I found some cute stuff that I think they'll like. So let me show you. First is this amazing vintage like goose 80s sweater. I mean, this one is an obvious need. If it fits me and I fall in love with it, I might keep it, but I think it would work better for my sister. Put this on the list of things I never knew I needed or wanted, a vintage 80s goose themed yellow sweatshirt. I also grabbed this top that I'm pretty sure I'm gonna throw back. It's got these really fun sequin sleeves and I wish there was a way I could get this and layer it just to show the sleeves because I think overall as a top, just not loving for me, but the sleeves are good. But unfortunately, I don't know if there's a way I can just like chop off the sleeves and not have this. I guess I could cut it like to here, but I don't think I'm gonna do that. One thing about me, I'm not a DIYer. I've tried and it always backfires, so I'm done with that life. There's this Utah company called Sweet Salt and they make like just kind of like cutesy, more like dressier clothing, like dresses and skirts. And I found a couple dresses from them. I don't think they're quite for me, but I feel like my mom and or sisters would love them and I feel like they're the right size. So this one's a really pretty like mint green with pink flowers. It's got some stains on it. I'm not sure if you can see that. There's some like right there, but I feel like those will probably just come out in the wash because otherwise it's in really good condition. So I feel like my mom will like this and I think this will be her size. So we're gonna get that one. Then we have this one, same brand same vibe. I think my sister would really like this one. You can tell that whoever donated these definitely had a type. Very similar. Green with pink flowers. I also found this skirt from the same company. I don't know if anyone in my family would like this. I kind of like it for me, but I don't know. I just don't tend to draw or like wear things in my closet that are black and white. So I don't know. I might leave this one here, but it is really cute. But this actually might even be a size too big on me. I don't know, it is really cute and would be fun for print mixing, but we're gonna have to think about it. But it does have pockets, so that's kind of influencing my decision, we'll see. Neon puffer jacket. Another thing I feel like my sister will like, I'm gonna text her a picture of this because I really don't know if she needs anything like this, but it is cute and I feel like her vibe. Here's a piece I'm thinking about for me. It's this black pair of trousers. Oddly enough, I have almost every color of pants in the rainbow but black. I'm just worried. I think they'll fit in the waist just fine, but they are a cropped fit. I think it's like a 29 inch inseam. So they might be a little short, but I think they're worth at least getting. I like them because they have this stretchy panel in the back so it can kind of fit like a range of sizes and hopefully will cinch in the waist more. They're men's, but I mean, they look good. And I've been on the hunt for black trousers because I really want the ones from Big Bud Press but my size has been sold out for so long, so I might get these because they're probably like a dollar and it's worth trying. And the last piece I'm thinking about here is this orange t-shirt. It's just a good basic that I don't have anything like, but it has a lot of staining and they look like grease stains, so I don't know if I could get those out and I don't know if it's worth trying. So I'll have to think about that. I'll have to look at the stains more closely, but yeah, that's what I found so far. A few things for the family, which is always good because I have a huge closet. I know they're always looking to build theirs up, so Let's do like one last sweep, one last lap. Just kind of skim through the bins and see if we can find anything else we like before we leave. So sad because I just found this adorable vintage top. It's got this awesome sequin rhinestone panel on the front and then on the collar, but it is definitely not my size. I made it back out to the car. I'm gonna head home now. I'm gonna get everything washed. So I will see you tomorrow and we'll try everything on and I'll show you what I got. I'm back home now, it's the next day. I washed everything I got last night and a couple of the pieces I got had stains, but they looked mild enough that I didn't like spot treat them. I just threw them in the washer. It turns out the stains are still there, so don't worry. I will wash them again and like spot treat them after the video. So if you see a couple stains and spots, don't worry. So first up we have the black trousers. This was the only thing I thrifted for myself. And honestly, I'm very surprised at how much I like them. I thought they were gonna be kind of like short, like a cropped fit on me, but it turns 
turns out I really have no concept of what kind of pant length I need because these are like the perfect length. So I don't know why I thought they were gonna be so short. I also really like the style. It's kind of like a straight leg, not super baggy, but a little bit of a baggier style. The only issue, like I kind of predicted, is they are a little big in the waist. Luckily, it does have this like stretchy panel in the back. So it does kind of cinch in a little bit on. They don't look bad. The issue is like if I put my phone in my pocket or if I was like wearing them throughout the day, they would eventually sag and I have another pair of trousers like that that are just slightly too big and they just kind of like sag in the crotch and it doesn't look good when they're not like pulled up or tight. So I'm gonna see if I can get these taken in a little bit. I mean, I know I can get them taken in. I just don't know if I'll be able to get them taken in enough to fit, but I think it'll work. Like if I just take in like an inch on this side, an inch on this side, it'll be good enough. So not super exciting, but definitely a score and definitely something missing from my wardrobe. But I'm curious, let me know what you think down below. Do you like the fit? Do you like the style? I definitely, you can tell they're more of a men's trouser because they don't have a ton of like hip shape, but I do think they look really good. And I think obviously styled up, they'll look awesome. So next, Next is the 80s bright yellow sweatshirt I got for my sister. This one is one of the ones that has some stains. I think if I just treat it with some stain cleaner and dish soap, it'll come right out because it's nothing too serious, but it's just so cute. It's so random. It's just like a bunch of uh, geese, I think, wearing puffer jackets and shoes. One really cute detail I noticed, I was looking at the care tag and it has like all the regular care settings. But then at the very bottom of the tag, it says, P.S. I love you, which I think is so cute. I feel like I've seen that on some modern brands, but I don't know. I think it's fun to see that on a vintage brand and it's just a fun little Easter egg. I did consider keeping this when I tried it on this morning. I threw it on with these yellow pants. The yellow on yellow was definitely a look. This sweatshirt just isn't super me and it, I feel like it's super my sister. Yellow is totally her color and she loves animals. So this is your sign the next time you're at the thrift store, if you see something someone in your family would like and it's super cheap, grab it for them. Cause it's always like, like a fun surprise gift in my opinion. Last but not least is this dress I got for my mom. This one still has the stains on it as well. I'm super confident that I'll be able to get these out. I think it just needs some scrubbing and TLC, but otherwise it's in great condition, super comfy, super stretchy. And the nice thing is me and my mom are like really similar in sizing. Like we kind of have different body types, but we both wear about the same size. So if it fits me, I know it'll fit her pretty well. But that's actually it. That's everything I found. There were a couple of really cute pieces I also found there but it's really hard actually now that I'm not a vintage seller and I don't like run my vintage shop anymore it's so hard to see like amazing pieces there that unfortunately are probably gonna end up in the landfill but at the end of the day if I don't have a use for it and if I don't know anybody that wants it I, I couldn't take it so there were a lot of really good things that I loved they just weren't my size but that's just the way it goes sometimes so hopefully you still enjoyed it even though it was short let me know in the comments down below what was your favorite piece maybe not something that I necessarily thrifted but what was your favorite thing that I saw huge thank you once again to parade for sponsoring today's video their website and my discount code will be linked in the description box I highly Highly, highly recommend anything from their Lush Rib collection. But my discount code color35 will get you 35% off the entire website. If you want some additional content from me, I will leave my Instagram and TikTok linked in the description box. Other than that, I think that's gonna be it for today's video. Thank you guys so much for watching and have a good one. Bye!